I want to put labels on my peaks. In this case I think I'll get only one peak label. Edit graph, math, peaks and valleys. Uh, right now it says label peaks is off. I'll turn that on by pressing enter. How many features? In this case I'm looking for just one. But if I had four peaks I would look for four features. And let's see, that's it. I press escape here and it should label my peaks. It has found the peak to have a wavelength of 280 nanometers and the absorbance at that wavelength is 0.642. So I've labeled my peak. At the bottom of the touchpad is a print button. I will print my graph. The printout appears here. I can pull this up and carefully tear. And here is my data. Typically I would want you to scan this printout and share it with your team electronically. The data from that UV scan is automatically saved in this USB drive right here. And if you want to make your graph look nice for a presentation, you would take the data from this memory stick here and process it on a computer. You can also in this way combine graphs of subsequent UV scans. So you could say I scanned three different samples and I want to put them all in the same graph. This is easy to do if you use the data here. I'm done acquiring my spectrum. I will empty my cuvette using a Pasteur pipette. And if I have skill, I can pull out 95%, maybe even more, of the volume in the cuvette. I think that's more like 98%. To wash your cuvette, in this case I'm washing with ethanol, just wash ethanol. And I'll pipette this, wash ethanol, into the organic waste. I may want to repeat this, but this is how you clean a cuvette.